I haven't even been wondering where, but it's been a long time since we've had one of those videos, right? It's been a long time since one of those Ruxin Do You Know Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Um, and I didn't even realize it's been a while. But here we are. Uh, and this time around, doesn't even have a guest. It's just, does Ruxin know Yu-Gi-Oh! prices? I guess. Okay, well. Welcome back to Guess That Price. In this series, I ask other Yu-Gi-Oh! tubers and YouTubers the price of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. No, 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 Ruxin. Hold on a second. Wait, who is that? What if instead Wait. of you asking the price, what if we flip it a bit and test your knowledge with card prices for once? I think your fans would like to see how well you can play at your own game. Ruxin34 is a Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber that specializes in opening and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! product and cards. He is known for opening rare Yu-Gi-Oh! products as well as opening packs for the rarest new cards for hours at a time. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Yeah, that was weird making a voiceover for myself. <laughs> it but was yeah, weird. I just did it. Okay, get over it. All right, then I take your challenge today. I will be attempting to guess prices of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, but I don't know what they are. So this is going to be probably pretty difficult. I think we'll be going by the same rules that you usually have for the series. Do you want to go over those for those who may not? I genuinely have no idea how good Ruxin actually is on this stuff. But I, I you would think he's pretty good, right? Because he opens a lot of product, a lot of old stuff as well. And he also, he's a seller as well, right? He sells cards, so he should know. If anyone knows, if anyone should know, then it's Ruxin. Be informed. So I'm gonna have 10 questions in this quiz. There's gonna be three in tier one, tier two, and tier three. There are different ranges for those tiers. They'll pop up on the screen. I will also have three different lifelines in this game. So hopefully those will help me not get completely annihilated by some of these random niche cards that I'm sure Alex is about to give to us. So let's just get into it. I'm sure you're going to do fine, Ruxin. I'm sure you're going to do fine. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to take mercy on you. I'm going to start. I'm going to throw you a bone. OK, I'm going to start okay. you with an easy one. Card number one is going to okay. be Obelisk the Tormentor jump promo Obelisk the Tormentor. What do you mean an easy one? I already have no idea. So I think the old gods aren't cheap the old promo gods are probably not cheap i'm not sure but i have no idea which tier this is we're gonna try guessing along we're gonna try guessing along but i'm i'm gonna be honest i have I, this is i think it's at least tier two for the record the uh the game works as follows in case anyone didn't catch that you have to guess how much the card is worth and they are split into tiers tier one is up to a hundred bucks Tier 2 is between 100 and 250 bucks, and Tier 3 is between 250 and 1,000 bucks. Um, and there are 10 questions. Three of each are, like, there's three from Tier 1, three from Tier 2, three from Tier 3, and one that could be anything. Um, Obelisk, I would personally put it either high Tier 2 or low Tier 3. So I'm guessing between two and 300. However, we do have to guess a, spe a specific number. Uh, I'm not sure if this makes it all the way into tier three. I'm just going to throw out a solid 230. So, okay. so, so how okay. well do you know your jump promos, buddy? Quick interjection. If you guys went into the giveaway, I'm giving away this Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge booster box. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Do you want to see more of me guessing Yu-Gi-Oh! prices? Let me know down below. Well, uh, yeah, if this is an easy one, it's going to be a, a long day probably because <laughs> this is the one that looks just like the GBI secret, <laughs> but it's not the GBI secret. So oh. I at least know it's less than that usually. But by how much? Yeah, there's been have so been many baited? obelisk reprints recently with, you know, they're making 25th anniversary versions. They have a new legendary collection reprint of the ultra rares. Like this thing could have gone down because of that, but most people don't even know about this card. So probably not. I, if, I, if I'm going to go tiers, I think this thing is probably, it's definitely not a tier three card. Uh, okay. It could be like a low tier two, but I would probably say. Uh, we've been baited. Tier one. There's a difference between these. I was just assuming this was the one from the game. But no, he said jump promo. In my opinion. Okay. Uh, okay. Because we're doing all near mint prices here as usual. We don't usually delve into mod play and stuff. It can get crazy like that. If it's a near mint JMP, just my gut is telling me like 80 bucks, but that's just like completely random. I haven't seen the price of this card in a long time. So 
my gut is telling me like 80 bucks. I don't want to use any sort of like lifelines yet because you know those those will come up later i do get to drop one so if this one's like miserably bad you know maybe <laughs> i'll drop this one um i don't have a lot to like really like think about here i i'm just gonna go with my gut i'm gonna go do i want to edge it a little bit toward a hundred oh you know, into always edging? go with your gut that's what i tell everyone who's on this show so 80 bucks that's what i'm gonna say final answer i'm gonna go off on a boomer tangent for a second i actually remember getting one of these cards like in the jump promo like that's that's how long i've been around but 80 bucks yeah. is your final answer well ruxin for your first card in your own series this card the jump promo obelisk the tormentor goes for 55 It's one of those days, chat. It's one of those days, chat. Five dollars. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was in the right area. I was a little bit high. I overestimated. Maybe some of those reprints. We don't talk about it. I'll have to look. But okay, mm -hmm. that's that's pretty reasonable. Fifty-five bucks. We're makes rusty. Sense. Okay. Only twenty-five. Off. We're rusty. It's been a while. It's been a while. You guys know. Typically, I am the the Yu-Gi-Oh market like chief, right? You guys know. I am like the, the the best when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh market, right? You know, I'm, you know, you guys know I'm Cart Market's uh, brand ambassador for Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff. It's because I know a few things about the Yu-Gi-Oh market. It's just been a little while since we've we've played one of those games, so that's all it is. We're just a little rusty, chat. Okay. Off, I can handle that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, for what it's worth, looking at the price chart, you actually, if we would have played this a month ago or two months ago, it would have been almost right on the money for you. So, so, I, so I was right. Could have been the reprints. reprints. Could have been the reprints. I should have listened to myself. And see, okay. I told you that was an easy one, but from here on out, you're not getting any easy ones. <laughs> that's the easy one. Great. Let's go to card number two. For card number two. I also have no idea why so many people are saying copium in chat right now that must be a weird coincidence it must be about something that ruxin just said we are going to do first edition secret rare archlord christia okay this shit is crazy this shit is tier three like between four and five hundred i know that because it's it's gotten it's gone crazy for edison uh it's less in europe i think but because they use american prices this this card is insane this card is like 400 or 500 bucks from start i'm gonna say 400 but it could be more than just that. overdrive oh i'm so mad so maybe just even, it's probably me. more than i'm gonna say 450 me and they told me about how they they graded one that i had looked at like two years ago and they just graded it and got a 10. i should have checked the price right then but i did it <laughs> so i remember this card in psa 10 being like really expensive like it was like three thousand dollars 2800 something like that but the first ed this is definitely tier three i can say this for sure uh, this is really hard to find because Stardust Overdrive doesn't come in first ed unless you get uh, a European box, which are pretty hard, really hard to find, actually. Or if you get them in like the pre-release packs or the tins, which are like, those are also Oh, I didn't know packs. that. So yep. first ed stuff from this set is really rare. And then Edison has gone crazy recently. So this is a great card in the fairy deck. So if you get the right tier, it's minus 10. Yeah, exactly. This thing, I have an idea that of my, my first guess is 750. Yeah, I remember it being Whoa. really expensive because I sold an unlimited for like 150 or something or 135 or something like that. It was really expensive for an unlimited secret. Uh, for first ed, I think I remember it being like, I saw the price and I was like, is it really that much now? <laughs> I think it was 750, but I did notice in my $1,000 video the other day, spinning on TCG player, the Edison cards have shot up. Like, uh, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Battle Fader Unlimited is $130 yep. right now. Yep. So, I mean, you're the one always saying go with your gut. So, I mean, if you feel like that's where you're you're feeling, you know, that's fine. 750 feels great. I don't expect like a card like this to have had a lot of movement since I last saw it. It could have like maybe somebody bought the one I saw and then they posted another one for like, you know, a thousand or something. But I'm just going to throw it out there. It could have gone up and I'm going to go with my original gut of seven hundred fifty dollars. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Is that your final answer? For I said, yeah, yeah, yeah we're not changing Christia. anything now. Well, you'll be happy to know that this card goes for six hundred and ninety four dollars. So okay. actually so pretty close considering it was a tier three and there was a wide variance. It could have been there was there must have been some listings. Some people shot, saw that seven fifty and were like, yeah, we got it. Seven hundred. That's insane, dude. I thought I wasn't even sure if 450 was like a little bit too much. What the hell is up with that? Bro. 
capitalize on this. This card's <laughs> insane. All right, I feel good about that. I'm happy. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm not... glad you feel good about that one because, like I said, again, uh, that was another easy one. I think from here on okay. out, you're probably you're probably. This is American price. Okay, so what is the difference? Like, hold up. Me people investigate. Arch Lord Christia. Uh. Stardust Overdrive. Germany. Near Mint. First. I mean, brother, it's. There's one for 400. 380. And then the next one is 600. Those are the only ones. What if it's not Germany? What if I do all Europe? Okay, you get you can get a French one for 190. And that's it. There's one English copy. Two, three. God damn, it looks good though. God damn, it's a beautiful card, but I'm never spending that much money on that. Uh, what is the difference between like because they said they said first edition was only available in like special places like Europe or uh, in tins or something. Does that mean it doesn't apply to the unfirst? Is the unfirst like reasonable? It's still a lot of money for an unfirst, dude. Oh my god. Okay, well, I underestimated it. I underestimated it. I I thought 450 was already crazy for this card, but. 700 we screwed oh looking God. at the rest of the cards i have for you so let's okay. let's see how well your knowledge is when we have card number three it is the world championship 2011 oh, card on. pack monster eye okay world championship 2011 no this idea. is the all super rare set i think it was supers they're all hollows world championship 2010 was all rare. i would personally i would personally swap this one if i was on the on the show because that's there's one of there's three jokers. One of them lets you swap a card for a different card. I I have no idea. I have no idea. I Literally. believe so. This is the more valuable of the two. It's a very random card. Most of these cards were. I think Alligator Sword was the best one in the set. Uh, I don't. It's kind of weird when it's not that big one. I don't know what these random ones like Monster Eye go for. I know they're definitely money. But how much money? I'm leaning towards tier two on this. Okay. The question is, is it like 110 or is it like 220, 200? The question is, did it like jump into tier three? I don't think it did. That would There's be a no little way. aggressive on this one. There's no way anyone's paying 250 bucks for a monster eye. I think it's probably. I'm saying 105. Tier two somewhere. My gut is telling me around 200 if I had to guess. Okay. But I don't think I've ever actually seen the price of this card specifically. That was the idea. I've just seen other cards from this set that are kind of expensive. But 200 seems a little high for a card like this. But at the same time, it's like there's probably one listing or something like that. Uh, so it really could be anything at that point. You do have lifelines, don't forget. If you're not feeling confident about this one, you do have the option to throw it yeah, away. Yeah, but I feel okay. If I have to drop this one, you know, it's fine. No big deal. Um, I don't want to waste the tier one. I don't think you're going back to back tier threes, but honestly, that would be probably be something you would do. But what if do you it mean? is back to back. Why? Okay, how can you even assume or even say that I would do something so evil in your <laughs> own series? I would never do such a thing. That's a good point. But also, if it is a tier three i've knocked out two of the three tier threes and maybe a fourth one already and then i'll okay, just drop this one and then i can figure the other one out later so that wouldn't be the worst thing ever to miss this one you know i'm just gonna stick with it i think i'm gonna go with just say a number 200 flat on this card because i feel like that would be a price that if you're just listing a card with no listings you would just put it at like 200 you wouldn't say like 174 or something you'd pick like a flat number and I'm gonna go, I think 200 could be a little high. There's also a world where it's the only listing at like, at like $500, but I'm gonna go 200. 200's your final answer? You seem a little happy. I don't know if I wanna answer on that. Um, yes, it is, it is. Okay, well, the World Championship 2011 Monster Eye goes for Two hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, so I said two twenty. You said two twenty. I was making faces oh. into the camera when you said it because I was like, "Wow." <laughs>
How am I so bad at this? Well, I've never seen this card before. Oh, if he gets this one defense. right on the money, I will be shocked. Uh, this no. also is like, there are other listings, but this is actually the lowest listing for this card uh, at near right. mid. So uh, right. I would say this is The probably cards are very hard though. I'm coping already. I'm making excuses. The most you accurate tell. baseline listing for this card. But yeah, I mean, everything oh. you said, I was like, wow, I was impressed. This is a very obscure card. So very impressive. All right. Glad that we're only 20 off on that. Tier threes were only off by a small margin. So I'm okay with that. We're doing good so far. All right. Well, tier, that's a tier two. Not that tier is a tier three, two. Yeah. So you have one of each good. so far. And so let's go yeah. ahead and get into card number four. We're gonna we're gonna stay, you know, in the in the realm of cards that are relatively obscure. We're gonna go with a Gladiator's Assault Secret Rare Gilgarth. Oh, this is a Okay, is this unfirst, unlimited? Because it doesn't say on the card that it's first edition. You you really are pulling out all the, the <laughs> Never seen this card. Oh, I've seen this card. I think Gilgard is a very cool card. I don't remember. I don't know why this is, if this is expensive or... I, it's definitely not cheap, I don't think. Unless maybe it's unfirst, because it doesn't have a first edition. And he also didn't say first edition. So maybe that's why it's not that expensive. Uh, crazy ones. <laughs> maybe that's this the trick. This is a card that is actually like ridiculously hard to find, which makes no sense because it's a four star vanilla. I am pretty sure this is a tier three card. I know. Oh, oh God. Really? I have actually no idea. The thing is, I know that already back then, Gilgard, even though the card was useless at the time it came out, right? At the time it came out, Gladiator's Assault is like 2007 or 8. I think it's 7. Uh, and th this card was not playable at all back then. I remember it. I was, I was playing back then already. But for some reason, that card was still not cheap. For, it was still not a cheap card for some... I don't remember the reason for it, though. I have no idea. But in my mind, it's like, if a card was already not cheap back then, surely it's expensive to today. I would have never guessed it into a tier 3, though. I would, I don't, I, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to say 200, and if it's wrong, it's wrong. Because, I mean, I, I, I don't know, actually. Salty thing. Thank you for the tier one. Oh, it's not a tier one. That's for sure. If it's a tier two, like I'd be, I'd be kind of surprised. I think this is a tier three, but I could just be thinking of like PSA prices being really high on this. But I remember that like, this is a card that I've never seen like pulled before out of glass and I've never pulled it myself. This guy is probably a good one to use something on because I, I know he's expensive, but I don't know how expensive it would probably be good to do a higher or lower just to like minimize the damage but then i need to decide like you know if i say like 300 and it's like 700 but i don't think it's 700 because there's there's no real use for this card so even though it is rare there's no like edison format propping it up like the arts or christia so if this thing's up at 700 with that that's just ridiculous hey man this is a rescue rabbit target you know what you know what i think ruxin is the one being baited right now because this is not first edition and he didn't say first edition i think that's the trick I actually think Ruxin is falling into a trap right now. I think maybe if it was first edition, it could be that expensive. But I think because it's not first edition, I'm af I think I'm even going lower than what I said earlier. I'm just going to say 120. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, whenever or maybe that comes I'm an back idiot. and they start... Uh playing Gilgarth and the Rescue Rabbit, then that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. Um, I'm just going to go with my gut, which is probably, I feel like my gut is probably not right on this one. The other ones I at least had like more of a basis around what I was guessing. This one is a little bit more random. I'm going to go with 300 and lock that in. Okay, final answer. Gilgarth, secret rare, $300. Final answer? I'm not going to change. I'm going to stay with 300. I think it's a little low, but I'm going to go 300. Okay, 300. Final answer locked in. Mr. Ruxin34. I think this is the first blunder you've had of your yeah. quiz. First edition Gladiator's Assault Gilgar. You didn't say first edition. Near Mint is 700. Okay, okay. Hey, no. Uh-uh. He did not say first edition once beforehand. I'm calling a judge on that.
I'm I'm calling a judge. I'm calling a judge. If if hold up, kill Garth. See? On first. Ah. And 85 US dollars. It is more than the Christia. That is crazy. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that, and then I was like, that cannot be right. There's no way it's $700. Hmm, I wonder oh. if I purposely put the Christia before this on purpose. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll have to consider Could be that a coincidence. No, I was scammed. I was scammed. Isn't it always first at prices? I didn't know that. Maybe that's the case, I, I, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think so. I thought it was... Because I'm used to Ruxin saying first edition, blah, 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 in the intro, right? When he tells you the card, he says first edition, near mint, yada, yada. And this time they didn't do it. This could be a coincidence. Fortunately, this one will be dropped and I am through two tier threes <laughs> now. I don't have to worry about this. That's true. But now That's I can't true. mess up anymore. You can't mess up. Any yeah, your, your margin for error is uh, going down dramatically. And was, was there like very few listings on this card? No, there's actually multiple. So there's that one. And then after after that, the next one's actually $800. So Golly, <laughs> it goes even Yeah, this card is stupidly rare yeah. like, for no reason. It's incredibly rare. Um, But... The next card is also incredibly rare because for card number five, we have a false bound kingdom copy of Kinetic Soldier. The false bound ki Wait. That one is not that crazy. That's tier one. I had this back then. I refuse to believe this one is crazy money. This one is tier one. And I think this one's tier one. Don't say tier one clueless. You know I'm insecure about these things. Is this the is this like different country version? <laughs> oh my god. I had a TFK kinetic soldiers for sure. Oh this you, is wrong, you, man. you said English. You didn't say it this doesn't have so to wrong. be in a different country. <laughs> this is so wrong. Okay. Alright, so now. This is where we have to understand. So the False Bound Kingdom, this is also where you get the Sinister Serpent. Correct. False Bound Kingdom. Which Correct, is but that would be too like easy because you know that card. Most yeah. people- Okay, but the, the TFK Sinister Serpent is only that expensive because it was only available in Spanish. The TFK Sinister Serpent is only that expensive because it was uh, the super rare version was only available in Spanish. That's why the TFK Sinister Serpent is that expensive. This is an English kinetic soldier. I don't think this one is that crazy. Well, probably don't even know that kinetic soldier has a false bound kingdom printing. Right, so even if I did know that, I mean, I saw a D, uh, one of those serpents sold for like 3,300, but like, I think the listings are a 5K. So it's like the range here is like absurd. There's just no way. I bought, I once bought a TFK Sinister Serpent on Cart Market for eight bucks. To like know what this is gonna be. And this one is like, this one's probably even more rare just cause you don't know about it. Uh, but what they did was in different countries, they had like the, the games, but the games had different pro. Do you still have it? No, I don't have it. Most based on where Amen. you got them. So like we got DDS and had the Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia, but in the Spanish copies, they actually got those in a different game. I think it was in, uh, it might've been in, I don't remember which one it was, but they, their DDS was not those cards. They got the yeah. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician and Exodia in a different version or a di completely different. No, game. I sold it for quite a lot back then, but it also came damaged by, it, it got the post stamp on it. Uh, so it had a, 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 an indent on it. Uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't mint anymore. Um, which back then it wasn't a big deal because the cart literally wasn't worth that much. Uh, I only bought it because I thought the super rare looked cooler than the secret rare when I built my very first goat deck, which was around like 2013 or something. I built my first goat or 2014. It was way before the goat hype. I, I got into goat. Uh, and I bought that Sinister Serpent because I thought it looked cooler than the secret rare. And the, um... I have sold it like a couple years later when it was like in a mint copy at the time was probably around a thousand. And I got like, I don't know, I think six or seven hundred for it because it was damaged, which at the time was a was a fine price. Um, I yeah, these days it's worth more. But at the time it was fair.
game. It was and it like, makes you uh, question why. Like that doesn't even make sense. Like I guess like if you want, it's wanted, so confusing. It, yeah, like, it's like I don't know. I guess it's like cool that there's region exclusive cards, but like from a distribution perspective, that just seems like a nightmare having to have different sets of cards for your game. I don't know. That that's just. I'm wondering if that was because like maybe they released. Anyways, I don't think Kinetic Soldier is that expensive out of this game. I'm gonna say eighty games later or something and then like that was the cards they kind of had at the moment but then like you have to re well you still have to reprint different ones because they have different set names so i don't yep. know what that was or about. actually 80 might even be too much i'm gonna say 60. not to mention kinetic soldier is also actually 40 been renamed to cypher soldier on top of yeah. it so let's let's continue with the weird history that this card has but in any case yeah. it seems like you're you're stalling because you don't know what the price of this card is i, I have no idea what the <laughs> price of this thing is this thing is uh this thing should be banned for multiple reasons wrong set wrong name uh wrong country <laughs> yeah wrong country like uh this guy uh yeah and then if you you equip him with like spike shield with chain you just lose automatically in dual links all those things um I guess it could be another tier three, but surely not. You have I'm lifelines. That... When I put two, three tier threes in the first five of the quiz, I mean- Probably, it's... and then you'd have a fourth one in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, the thing is with the Serpent though, it had GOAT format boosting it for so many years. This thing has nothing boosting it. No one's playing Kinetic Soldier. Uh, I don't know, uh, buddy. Warriors are like one of the best decks in GOAT format. It is a fine side deck card. It was a good side deck card for a long time back then. Like, I remember having those and playing them a decent amount for, like, in, in the side deck. And if you read, this card gains 2,000 attack and defense. <laughs> no, read the effect of what this card does, buddy. When it battles a warrior... <laughs> it's a, but it's a machine! It becomes 3850. This thing's insane. Okay, that's true. But I've still never seen it played, okay? <laughs> okay. Even, even in GOAT, I It was very seen... good against stuff like Six Samurai, and it's also really good against something like Hero Beat. It's actually seeing play in uh, Edison, as a matter of fact, because the hero decks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, I need that. That's helpful. That's probably like card. five thousand dollars now. <laughs> um, oh, there, this is there's. I have nothing to say. There's no. There's no. <laughs> Ruxin also hasn't seen tier limits being played. True. He probably thinks tier limits are worthless and bad because he never has seen them being played. <laughs> no way to decipher what this is. You have uh, no life way to lines. decipher soldier what this is. You have uh, lifelines. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, I could use a lifeline, but I was thinking last time I could use a lifeline. I don't think it would have helped me because I knew it was over tier three. So even higher, or lower would have. Same thing with this. No matter what you tell me, it's not going to help. Other than like if you told me it was a tier one card, Roxanne. then maybe I could see Pay a this price. being God a damn. tier one card, actually. <laughs> and this is like one to throw me off because nobody knows what it is. So how does the price go up? If nobody knows about it i think i'm on to you i think i'm on to you i think i gotta go gutsy look i gotta pick one way or another i either okay. gotta pick like eight hundred dollars or i gotta pick <laughs> eight, a tier one eight dollars yeah or i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna go a little gutsy here okay all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go tier one because what do we have yes. tier one so far we've got one tier one one tier two tier two one. tier threes correct this correct. thing is tier one that okay. is my guess okay it is not gonna be like five bucks because there won't be enough listings for it to be that cheap It'll be like somebody found one of these and they were like, I can't find a listing for it. Maybe I'll just put it up for like 50 bucks is what they'll do. Okay. Maybe even like 20. It's possible to do that. But I'm going to go right in the middle of tier one. $50. I expect that this thing is going to be cheap. Here we go. What is it? Okay. So $50 for the False Bound Kingdom copy of Kinetic Soldier. And I'll die on that hill. It's Kinetic Soldier, not Cypher Soldier. Is that your final right. answer? Uh, Yeah, it is. So this card... Near mint, two hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just an expensive card. It wasn't overly expensive for cheap. Yeah. To be fair, there aren't many listings for this. I actually think this yeah. might be the only near mint copy. There's a couple. I swear that was cheap back in the day. Kinetic soldier. Oh, cipher soldier. TFK. Okay, so what I'm remembering maybe is the German one being dirt cheap, because the German one is dirt cheap. But there's even English ones for 20 bucks. What do you mean 220? It's literally, there's multiple for 20 bucks right here. They're not first ed? There is no first ed for, for cards from video games. There's no first ed.
This is literally the same card. He did say English? Yeah, okay, well, filter for English. It's still 20, 20, 23, 30, 70, 70 for a playset. 89, like, no shot, this is 220 cards, uh, 220 bucks when you can get them this cheap in Europe. Yeah. Wait, they made this a light? Just randomly? Why did it change from Earth to light and then back to Earth? Is that a misprint? That's such a funny misprint. That's such a funny misprint. All right. Well, light plays a couple med plays. Anyways, whoever is uh, whoever is calculating how well we're doing in this game, you can probably stop because I'm not. I don't want to hear the answer. But even the light yeah. plays are sort of like 160, 180 anyway. Yeah. So uh, yeah, like this again, being like a false bound kingdom card, especially because it's alongside something like Sinister Serpent. I think that's yeah. it's you were on the right track with that, but it's also not as expensive as a as a Sinister Serpent for obvious reasons. So I still think that this is the dumbest reason for cards <laughs> to be expensive. The <laughs> TFK DD or uh, Serpent. I don't care about that card at all. Why are people paying five thousand dollars because it's from a different country? Lame. Lame. No, because it's super rare. It's a rarity. You can't get otherwise no, rarity say. people want to flex oxen people it's not want rare, to flex. It's just from a different country <laughs> come on no it, so it's, it's a different rarity. flexing and uh the, the best part about that is yeah you may have whiffed on that kinetic soldier but you do know that there's another tier two that's out moving forward mm -hmm, but speaking true. of rare cards let's move on to the Battle Pack Tournament Prize Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon that is oh, Starfoil. Thank okay, 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 okay. The thing is, I think I've looked at this one. Um, I think I've looked at this one recently because I bought Chimera Tech Fortress Dragons. I wanted nice looking Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for my Edison decks. But I got the Shonen Jump Ultra Rares, of course. Because, dude. If you think Battle Pack Starfoil is freaking uh, the best version of Chimera Tech Fortress, you're completely lost. I can't help you with that. Um, but I think I looked at it because I was just, I don't know, I was interested in what it was because I didn't remember it being in the Battle Pack. But there's, I don't even know, I don't know the exact story behind these cards, but they, there's like Battle Pack promos that you could win at tournaments, I think. And this is one of them. And they're, like, not cheap because of that. Because you could only get them at tournaments, I think. I don't think you could pull this in the set. I think you had to win it at a tournament. If you could pull it in the set, this would be three bucks or something, max. But I think you had to win it at a tournament. I, don't, I still don't think this is that expensive. I think it's still a tier one, like, 25, maybe? Maybe Fully. less than that. I found out about these recently. Did I didn't you? even know about these cards. Okay. So I had a Spirit Reaper from this Battle Pack tournament thing. And I was like, why is this card 50 bucks? It turns out it's like a tournament prize kind of thing. I yep, would have yep. thought it was like a $1 card because everything in like the Battle Pack foiling, I'm like, just assume it's cheap. That one was not. It's about $50. Chimera Tech Fortress, also playable in Edison. So Spirit Reaper playable in GOAT. Very playable, playable in Edison. Edison. Well, maybe it's 50, but it's tier one. There's I said 25, I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, so I'm probably, I'm probably, this, I probably lowballed a little bit, but whatever. It's definitely not going to, it's not going to be my worst guess today. <laughs> be like super cheap, but I think that now that we're down to one tier one, this is going to be the other tier one. So we're going to be like two, two, two so far, I think. That's just normally how it usually works out. You could have switched it up, but you don't really want to save a bunch of tier ones for the end because it's kind of boring unless they're super sneaky, which this one's a it's little- It's NA prizes. It's always more expensive. Okay, I'm going to go up a little bit. Let's say 40. Sneaky, but I knew, fortunately, that this is- it's somewhat, it's not an expensive card, but it's not cheap. It's not super cheap. The only price I know was the Spirit Reaper, about 48 bucks or something like that. We'll start there. Do you think it's more or less than Spirit Reaper? I think that's a good place to start. That's where I'm kind of going. I think it's very similar because they're both still usable. Mm -hmm. They're both equally as rare, I assume, because the same rarity. So I would peg it around the same amount and I really don't have any reason to go other than like Cyber Dragon probably being more popular. So maybe add on a little bit more than the Spirit Reaper versus because there's no Spirit Reaper archetype 
to have fans of. I would probably bump it a little bit higher just because you can use it in current format with your Cyber Dragon deck. You can use it in Edison format. So instead of 50, I'll say like 60, 60. I'll just say 60. $60. That, the final answer for the Battle Pack Starfoil Tournament Prize Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. That's a, that's a mouthful, but yes. Okay. Well, this may be your best hit yet. Oh. This is a $75 card. Oh, that much? So, really? Okay. Well, I'm glad I moved up to 40. Pretty close. Pretty close. I almost said 65 and I was like, ah, uh, and well, first I was thinking 75, just add 50%, but that's still pretty good. I, I knew that this couldn't be that crazy because this is really niche. Like if I don't know about it. What do you mean not that crazy? This is 75 bucks for a shitty ass looking star foil. That's, this thing looks like Garbo. It's worse than a common. Pretty niche. Like the kinetic soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I did know about it. I just didn't know the price. I knew what the card was. Sure. Yeah, okay. I feel good about that. That seems reasonable. You knowing the Spirit Reaper definitely helped you out. That's for sure. If I didn't know the Spirit Reaper, I honestly probably would have guessed like $1. <laughs> But like you saying tournament prize might have thrown me off and I might have gone like 300, but I would have been between there. I wouldn't have been this close for sure. Well, let's see how our seventh card fares. Uh, so we've got two of everything so far knocked out because we can't give you any freebies. We have to make it difficult. There have been no freebies. For card number seven, we have the Duelist League promo Breath uh, of Light. Uh, oh, the Breath of Light, Duelist League promo. Someone was just talking about this card the other day. I believe it was Uber was talking about this i think he was gonna buy a bro i have no idea a ton of these and i feel like he was buying them at a hundred dollars each which i don't know much about this card <sighs> duelist league hmm a hundred thing is old as promos old as promos that were like hard to obtain back in the day and no the thing is sometimes the reason why such bad cards go up it's because back in the day no one wanted them right so so the the demand for it back then wasn't that high people didn't take good care of them people didn't attend that many tournaments to get them it's like that's why sometimes specifically these garbo cards uh, from back in the day are like more expensive. Um, I th think this could be the 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 third tier one though. I'm I'm just gonna say 85. I don't. I just know it's a very random card that's expensive, but not like this isn't like a $500 card. I think, but he, maybe he was getting a good deal at 100. I'm assuming if he was gonna buy them at 100, they're probably a little more. My gut was telling me he was dealing with a hundred dollars, so I feel like it's a hundred and fifty dollar card which would be our third tier two. Tier two is the most boring one anyway. <laughs> so you can kind of sneak some ones that seem like they'd be cheap or expensive and kind of, you know, backdoor them. Or, into okay, let's, let's go low tier two as well. Let's go 110. Tier two, like 95% sure this is between 101 and $250. The question is where? I'm between 150 and 200. I want to say 150, but it could be 200. Could split the difference, go 175, but then, you know, if you're if you're right about one of them, you, you feel bad. You Pick a number. It. You still haven't used any lifelines, and this is card number seven. So, I mean, I know you're saving them for the end here. I forgot I could have swapped one. You know what? I, sh I should have swapped the kinetic soldier because I knew I wasn't going to get that one. Um, <laughs> you said it wouldn't have been as fun, though, which I agree with. That's true. It wouldn't have been as fun. Same with this one. My gut's saying 150, but the split safer decision is 175. It's not like I'm really killing it right now anyway, so I might as well just go for what I think. Let's go for 150. That's what I'm going to go for. 150. Breath of Light Duelist League promo for $150. Is that your final answer? Yes. You're actually pretty close. It was $130. Oh, okay. Okay. Very okay. close. Very close. So, like, honestly, aside from the Kinetic Soldier, you haven't been that far off with... Actually, no, the yeah. Gilgarth you got wrecked on, too. That's true. <laughs> yeah, the Gilgarth was the really bad one. The Kinetic Soldier, I kind of knew I was Best in trouble. Guess, but this one, it's, yeah, uh, th that, this makes sense. This one I'm glad is pretty I stuck with my 150, despair, so I didn't get farther away from it. So yeah. But this nice. one is only, like, ancient cards. I'm not very good at those. This next one will be uh, a bit interesting, I feel like. Let's go ahead oh and move ourselves towards card number eight. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman from the Elemental Hero Collection 1. Ooh, yeah, this is a cool version of the card. I bought a lot of these different uh, Elemental Hero Collection secret rare.
I feel like, judging by the fact that it's an ancient promo and a hero, that this has to be the third tier three, right? There's no shot that this is the, the remaining tier one, I feel like. So I'm just going to say 350 for like in like mod play and light play i know in those conditions they're like anywhere from like 40 to like 80 usually but when you go to near mint on tcg player there can sometimes be a massive gap because like there's a lot of light plays and there's like no near mint so like it go up like two or three times what the light plays worth but i know that this one is not like a crazy expensive card unless for some reason all the near mints are sold out which i don't think it's not that rare of a card it's a little bit niche how many have we done now we've done uh this is card three tier twos eight. this is three tier twos and two of the other two correct Ooh, that makes me want to lean tier one because i feel like you wouldn't have four tier twos and do it before the end because it makes it more interesting at the end if you have the fourth one so i think that this is probably tier one i would be surprised if this got up to 251 plus how and do you tell the difference between this not being a tier one a tier three and then you're like oh breath of light that shit is money well how do you oh my come on this doesn't make any sense this is a hero it's going to be a little bit more towards like 100 versus towards zero. So I'm going to go with a solid 70. Why do I feel like that's high now? What saying 75 feels high now for some <laughs> reason. It's got it's more than 50. I think it's got to be more than 50 near mint. I, OK, let's go 70. I'll go to 70 on this. All right. $70 for the elemental hero collection flame. Please be wrong. That's your final answer. Yes. $70. Please you be are wrong. almost right on the money. $68 oh, for this. I almost get 69 wow. for the memes. I would have been $1 <laughs> off. Oh, okay. Okay. That was I impressive. Feel good about that one. That was impressive. I was trying to trip you up with this because some of the cards from this collection are like exorbitantly expensive, but Flame Wingman is not one of them. I, I kind of remembered that as I was saying it. I was like, wait, I feel like this one's cheaper than like the Bubble Man for some reason. So you did well. Bro, literally, this card is 68 bucks and the freaking Millennium Eye or whatever it's, it was called. Millennium Eyes is like, what was that, 220? This shit does not make any sense. Actually, I'm, I'm proud that I suck at card prices because that shit does not make any sense. For card number eight, but that actually brings us to the end of the video. It does not make any sense. And I have two final cards that I have to share with you here. So we have an ultimate rare first edition elemental hero tempest from elemental energy oh boy and the super rare sengenjin from premium pack two. Oh, okay sengenjin um elemental hero tempest i have a very good relationship with i once graded a 10 and then i sold it so that i could it helped me buy, I didn't pay for it, but it helped me buy my first LOB box. That was the big video that kind of blew up my channel. So I- uh, Raccoon, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. Appreciate the long time support. Thank you. I have fond memories of the Tempest. It's a very expensive card. Yeah, the Tempest is expensive. The Seng Engine, I have no idea. You know what? I'm just going to throw numbers at you. Uh, 427 and 200. 13. Back then I sold it for, I think it was like 17 or 1800. Might've been 16. I don't remember for a 10, but now that the raw card is like up there in that, in that ballpark. It's like a thousand plus, I think. So that that's a big one. That's definitely tier three. We can guarantee that. So that means that this will not be a tier three card, right? Wait, no, wait, how many tier threes have we had? Two? If you're considering the Tempest as a tier three, we have had three of each. Yeah, so, so we've had two before this. Correct, two before this. That doesn't help me at all, because then the Singagen <laughs> could be anything. <laughs> this is premium pack, right? Uh-huh. Why do I feel like there's another version of this card? Isn't there a Singagen? I don't know. Why is there another version of this card, Ruxin? I think there's a Toys R Us version or something. Is that this? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Normally I, I cap it at a thousand, but I don't know if I didn't tell you that. So you might have gone over a thousand, which makes me worried about the Tempest. It's possible. Singingen, I really want to say Singingen super rare is like $2 or something, but I haven't looked that price up in like probably since 2019. So you never really know what's happened with that card since. My gut is saying Tempest 1400 or so, but it could be like 12. And then the Singingen, I don't even understand. Oh, no. This thing is not a thousand for an ultra rare. What the hell?
and how this card would be expensive if there's a secret <laughs> version of it and there's also like a a more rare version the toys r us version this is what we're gonna be off by like a, like a, at least a couple hundred on this probably what do you mean ultimate it says it says alt it, the, the thing is literally ultra on the picture the picture is literally an ultra rare he said ultimate. Oh, okay, okay. No, then I, I revised my statement. I thought it was ultra rare. Uh, I'm still not going to go all the way to a thousand. I'm going to say, I don't know, 700 then. Probably. You have lifelines, I'm just saying. All right, sure. We, we won't go all the way. There's no reason not to. So, we'll, okay, Sengenjin tier me. Tell me it's tier one. For Sengenjin? Yeah, just tell me the tier. Tier one. Okay, I thought thought so cheap card that's probably like two bucks okay it's probably risky um but i could make it fun and just put in a guess for tempest then we swap and then we can see how close i was on both let's do that let's i'm gonna i'm gonna guess tentatively 1400 this doesn't count this is just for fun okay and then i'm gonna swap the tempest for another uh tier three card assuming that uh this is tier three which it is the card that you're swapping for is Retro Pack 2 Valkyrian the Magna Warrior. Okay, okay. All right, uh. okay. This isn't too bad. Um, this card is one of the cheaper secrets from Retro Pack 2, but it's still going to be tier 3, obviously, because the Tempest was. So that means we're over 250. I would say this is between 250 and three, uh. 251, technically, and then 350. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. How can you pog so hard at a number? Uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna say 300. I don't know. He could maybe get to 400, so I should probably do higher or lower at like 325. And then I can kind of gauge from there. And if I hit it right on the, the head, which has never happened, then I guess you can just say neither and then I'll just know what it is. I'm gonna do 325 higher or lower on the Valkyrian. 325 higher or lower on Valkyrian the Magna Warrior Retro Pack 2. It is higher. I think it's probably 350, something like that, but it might go up to 400. There is it's a another like $800 cart, right? It's, it's probably just going to be another complete disappointment right now. World where it's 500, but I don't think that this card's that much. The, the only reason it would be up there would be there's just no dear mint listing. How's the Rolfsky thing five possible. months? So I'm going to go like 375 to be safe because like, well, I, I really think it's I said 325. Yeah, so that, that puts me between 350 and 400. Let's do that. 375. And then on Singenjin, I will do... I've been saying two the whole time for the meme, so two bucks. <laughs> okay. So for the premium pack to Sengenjin, uh, it is $3. So yeah, I, <laughs> let's go! I was I trying it. to trip right. you up with that one, but uh, you did not fall right. for it. So congratulations. I was hoping you might use lifelines and then like maybe you wouldn't know. So like, okay, we yeah. try it. However... Valkyrian oh. the Magna Warrior, you are way off. This card is $1,200. <laughs> Somebody bought the cards out. I think a 10 is worth 1200 <laughs> This is TCG player screwing me right now. There, this are, is not there are multiple this listings at 1200 and then there's yeah. one that's actually a graded one at 13 and then someone else has another one for I, 15 I think Bro, what the hell, dude? What the hell? Yo, NA, are you okay? NA people, are you are you alright? Are you alright? <laughs> God damn. Uh you know what? You know what? For for whoever was calculating the points uh, that we did, um don't bother calculating the percentage that uh don't bother calculating how well we did i don't think you have to um i don't think i don't i don't i'm good i i don't think i need to know how how much we were off um 
And in hindsight, I'm not so sure I missed this show. I'm not sure I missed I missed the, the guest the price uh, show. I think I think we're good without it. <laughs> I think we're good without it. 